homecoming of maths lesson. Now we are going to continue our lesson about plank. Uh, but before starting our lesson today, uh, just remember our class rules. Okay, one, stay focused. Two, open your ears. And the three is don't play. Okay, are you ready to study today? Yes. Okay, let's go. First, comparing two things. The length of two things can be compared using the terms tall or taller, long or longer, short or shorter. You can see the example in the next video. Let's look at these two people. Mr. Lee is tall. Carrie is short. Tall and short are opposites. Mr. Lee is taller than Carrie. And Carrie is shorter than Mr. Lee. Now you can compare the heights of two people or things. Next, let's look at these two objects. The train is long. The car is short. Long and short are opposites. We said that the train is longer than the car. We can also say that the car is shorter than the train. Now, we can compare the length of two things. Second, comparing more things. The length of more things can be compared using the term tallest, longest, and shortest. You can see the example in the next video. I have two pencils here. Let's compare the yellow pencil and the red pencil. The yellow pencil is longer than the red pencil. Now let's compare the red pencil and the blue pencil. The red pencil is longer than the blue pencil. Which is longer, the yellow pencil or the blue pencil? Since the yellow pencil is longer than the red pencil, and the red pencil is longer than the blue pencil, Therefore, the yellow pencil is longer than the blue pencil. Now we can compare two lengths by comparing them with a third length. Let's compare the height of these plants. Which is the tallest? The tree is taller than the flower. The tree is also taller than the shrub. So we say that the tree is the tallest, which is the shortest. The flower is shorter than the tree. The flower is also shorter than the shrub. So the flower is the shortest. Let's compare the length of these items. Which is the longest? The belt is longer than the comb. The belt is also longer than the sock. So the belt is the longest. Which is the shortest? The comb is shorter than the belt. The comb is also shorter than the sock. So the comb is the shortest. Using a start line. A common starting point makes comparison of planks easier. Let's see the example in the next video. Let's compare these items. Which is the longest? 
which is the shortest. It is difficult to compare the items like this, so we will use a start line to help us. This is the start line. Putting things at the common start lines has us to compare them. Now, let's compare. The toothbrush is the longest. The paper clip is the shortest. Measuring things. Length can be measured using things as a non-standard unit. But first, let me ask you. Usually you measure an object using a riddle, right? How do you measure the length of an object without using a ruler? Well, we can use objects like ice cream sticks, paper clips, or straws to measure the length of a thing. To make you more understand, let's see the video. Let's measure the length of the scarf with some ice cream sticks. We can use objects to measure length. We place the ice cream sticks one after another next to the scarf. One, two, three, four, five, six. The scarf is about six ice cream sticks long. The length of the scarf is about six ice cream sticks. We say about six ice cream sticks because the scarf is not exactly the same length as the ice cream sticks. Now, let's measure the length of this bag. We can use different objects to measure the length of the same thing. First, let's use ice cream sticks to measure the bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The bag is about nine ice cream sticks long. Now, let's measure the length of the bag with pencil. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's about six pencils long. We use more ice cream sticks than pencils to measure the bag because an ice cream stick is shorter than a pencil. And the last, finding length in units. Length can be described using the term unit instead of paper clips and ice cream sticks. For example, let's see the next video. Let's use straws to measure the length of this box. One, two, three, four, five. The box is about five straws long. We can also say the box is about five units long. We can use the term unit to replace straws. One straws for one unit. Let's use ice cream sticks to measure the length of this polishing board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One ice cream stick stands for one unit. So the bulletin board is about thirteen units long. We can group thirteen into a ten and three. So thirteen is ten and three. Okay students, that's all our lesson today about Clang. As usual, I have more for you on G-POM. Please do it by yourself and don't forget to submit.